little stranger. Pecos Jim's a-coming and he's gunning for you. Okay, it's your funeral. Hey. Here you've been looking for me. I'm a fair man, so I'll give you to the count of three to drop that gun down. All right, city slicker. Get ready to eat lead. One. Two. Three. Get the loot. I got it. Yes. Georgie, you okay? Yeah, Mom, I just sneezed. How's she doing? Okay, I guess. What'd you get? Mom, I'm just reading. Put those comic books down and get some sleep. How are you getting along with what's his name? The real estate geek. Hey. Well, that's what you call him. No, I don't. Not anymore. Charles is okay, I guess. You remember 4849 Sankola? That property you thought was owned by the Chinese Mafia? Russians. 
I mean, what do the Russians know about real estate? You can't even find one that owns his own burial plot, let alone a home. Will you stop it? Look, see? What did I tell you? Gina Slortsky Realty. Slortsky. That's why I didn't get that damn listing. That woman is everywhere. Damn Russians. Charles, please. Do I need to switch your reading material with Georgie? You want to read after me? No, thanks. I'll pass. This is the one where Cactus and Billy crossed the border into Mexico for the first time. Didn't they do that already? Yeah, but this is an earlier edition. The Mexicans call them dirty gringos. Hey, that's different. A Mexican with a border problem. Go on, sweetie. Anyway, see, Cactus and Billy just robbed a bank in Texas, and they did it really, really cool. No one got hurt, because, see, they're not really bad. They give most of the money to the poor. They're still criminals. Charles! Well, I'm sorry, but he's already told me this. How many... I'm sorry, Georgie, but you told me this story already. No way! This is a new one. When did you get that? Dad brought it to me. Uh, Dad! Does he have to knock like it's a drug bust? Shh. I heard that, Chucky. Hey, can't you do something about these thugs that are vandalizing my signs? I think it's the Russians. See? I told you. He was joking. And if you're going, you should go get ready. <laughs> okay, come on. So, how's it going, Chuck? Okay, enough with the Chuck Chucky business. I don't mind. Don't do that. See, he didn't mind. I mind. And by the way... Hey, Chuck, don't you hate her, oh, by the ways? What do you mean? Have you been coming by without permission? Okay. I am an officer of the law. I would never renege on an agreement that was made in the U.S. court, no matter how illegal I think it is. Answer my question. What is she talking about? Do you know what she's talking about? That's what I'm talking about. That's new. No, it isn't. That's the first time Cactus and Billy rob a bank. Well, Kate, I didn't know that you read The Cactus Kid. Mm -hmm. I don't. Good, you're ready. Let's go before they get crowded. Bye, Bye Mom. Bye-bye, sweetie. Mwah. Bye, Mom. Maybe not. Watch out for those ruskies, Chuck. He's such a jerk. Keep that shoulder in. Hey, batter, batter. Oh, OK, all right. Keep that shoulder in. Here it comes. Hey, batter, batter, swing. Oh. All right, all right, all right. All right, good one, Georgie. All right, all right, here it comes now. Hey, batter, 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 and strike. Come on, Dad, give me a break. No, it's game simulation, Georgie. Come on now, you got to concentrate. Hey, batter, batter. Oh. Georgie, look out! Dad! You gotta pay attention. I was to you. Let's, uh, square up and bun, all right? <laughs> George, no, wait, wait, time out, time out. What, now? Now look, the bun. You gotta get a little quiet. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? You think that's funny, huh? Well, come here, you. Oh, it's ambush here. Whoa. Okay, come on, come on. Wait a second, we got work to do. Georgie? Have any pain? I think I laughed too hard. Okay, we need to stop laughing so hard. All right? Come on. We'll go grab a cup, all right? Come on. I think this is sour. It's frozen yogurt. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. No, that's what it is. You like this stuff? That stuff? No. I got regular ice cream. What? Mom always says you have the worst on the planet. Yogurt's better for you. Oh, yeah? What else does she say about me? I thought you didn't like me to swear. <laughs> okay, kiddo. Last stop. Do they ever catch cactus? You really want to know? Love you, Dad. Hey, hey, there you go. Oh, thanks. No, 
I want him out of here. I pay the bills. You're out of here. He's a no good drunk. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Who hit who this time? He spilled beer in my face. Did he pull my ass? Wait a minute. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. You first. I was watching a documentary. She just walked up and kicked me in the nuts. Liar. Hey. The doctor says I'm supposed to avoid all trauma. Baby. You're the liar. Why don't you tell me what really happened? Why don't you, really you just go crazy? Just... Basis 412. Can you repeat that last call? Disregard, that was for ambulance. The doctor says I'm supposed to avoid all trauma. Oh, you're, you're the such liar. A big baby. You're the liar. Why don't you tell him what you're telling him? Why don't you shut up or you're both going to jail tonight? 412, that was 315 Ramsey. Repeat dispatch. Disregard, the call is not for you, 412. God damn it, repeat the dispatch. 315 Ramsey. Where the hell are you going, Jack? Handle this shit. That last call was Georgie's house. I'll catch up with you later. Hey, shut up, you guys. Just keep it down. He doesn't like you. Oh, yeah. I don't like you. Oh, yeah. Georgie! Jack! Oh, my God, Jack. Georgie, what happened? Did he fall? No. Did he hit his head? Then what the hell happened? I don't know. He's in the bathroom. I found him on the floor. Did you make a plate? Did he have headaches? Did he have dizzy spells? No. Yes. What? This morning at the batting cage. Why didn't you say something? I thought it was nothing. We were laughing. Go, go, go! No warning, nothing? Nothing. He was fine. And then he went upstairs and... I just knew something was wrong. Something told me to go up there and check on him. He was just... Oh. Oh, God, Jack. He was so pathetic. I didn't even hear him fall. He was just there. Baby. Did they say anything? They're still doing tests. Mr. Pierce, I don't understand. Why can't you just cut it out? Considering the location, I think the best we can do is shrink it. What? Is George going No one can say for sure. Each case is different. Look, it's important that you don't give up for his sake. Mr. Pierce. How you doing, partner? Me and Billy's are waiting for you. We got a big job coming up. Cactus? You do what these here sawbones tell you. And when you're ready to ride, Billy and I'll see you on the other side of the Rio Grande. What about Pecos Jim? He's a gunner for you. That farm had better watch it. Me and Billy don't take too kindly to double crosses. Wait, Cactus. I want to go with you. Mom. She's down in the hall talking to the doctors. She should be back in a few minutes. How are you feeling? My head hurts. Well, that should go away in a while. That stuff there should take care of that. 
She was here. Ooh. Cactus. Cactus and Billy? Just Cactus. Billy was away back in Mexico. Uh, that's some honor, Cactus coming to see you. No, that's it. The garage is as is. Yes, as is. Read it. It's in the... Georgie, God damn it, will you stop that? Oops. Hey, kiddo. Georgie, go upstairs. I want to talk to Charles. Dad. Come on, we'll just be for a few minutes. Here you go. Come on. All right, goodbye. Jack, I don't ever want to hear you talk to my son like that again. Jack. Kate, stay out of this. This is between me and him. You and him? Kate, now look, let's stay calm no, here. No, I want to know. How is this between you and him? I just don't think he should talk to Georgie like that. Like what? Like a father? Yeah, maybe. What the hell do you know about being a father? You were hardly ever here. I was busy making a living trying to support my family. Kate. Kate, I do not want to do this. But God damn it, he is sick. You don't have to tell me that. Isn't it three o'clock? Shouldn't you be going to work? Jack, I'm sorry. I love Georgie too. You know that. But I don't think we should treat him like he's sick. He is sick, Charles. He is. Tell him I'll see him tomorrow. Explain your situation, and believe it or not, this guy is willing to forget everything that happened. If, of course, you pay for the damages. And the police department here gives him five thousand dollars. A real losses. sport. Come on, Jack. All right, all right, all right. I, I will pay him. Look, don't worry, we'll pass that. You got a lot of friends here, Jack. Now, will you take the leave? Cap, I am okay. Honest, I am okay. No good, Jack. Go. Spend some time with your son. Take the leave. It'll be good for both of you. All right, how, how long? You take as much as you need. Well, that is the point. I do not need to be taking a leave. Damn it, Jack. You have no choice in this matter. Now go home. <laughs> supposed to do 
What am I supposed to say? Right now, all I live and breathe is you. And it's too late to make our story end any other way. It doesn't matter who. Somehow, I know I'll never be the same Can you heal a hurt so bad? Can my broken heart forget? So I let you go Though I miss you so The memories we made Will last a million years Someday I'll rise Where's the real estate key? Sleeping. Catches you here. Oh. Georgie, I'm sorry I'm not a great dad. What are you talking about? No, Mom's right. I work too much, and for what? Mom's wrong. No, I don't understand. I've known Mom since we were kids, and I can honestly say she's never been wrong. I'll deny that if you repeat it. I messed up big time. She's right. I haven't been much of a father. Yes, you have. Where? You take me to the bank cages. Big deal. I believe with a quarter can do that. You bring me comic books? No, no, no. I mean, you don't understand. I, I never really gave you anything special. I mean, what do you want? What do you really, really want? I don't know what you mean. Shoot. There must be something you always dreamt about having or doing. I want to be better. Cactus and Billy, we can go to Mexico. Just you and me. Okay. Just you and me. So, I see locking the window doesn't work. 
thought he used the door. What time is it? Egg soft, bacon crisp. Ugh. Don't tell me we're still married. I hate to burst your bubble, but that's how Charles likes his, too. Well, where is old Chucky? Believe it or not, some people actually work normal hours. I'm warming up in the bullpen. I don't think you should make promises you can't keep, Jack. Did I miss something? I'm talking about Georgie. He's been bouncing off the walls all morning, waiting for you to get up to plan the big heist. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's just... It's just that I never really gave anything to Georgie. So what'd you have in mind? A criminal record? Well, you must know we can't go out and rob a bank. Oh, Jack, wake up. You're his idol, for Christ's sake. If you told him that tomorrow you're gonna take him for a ride to the moon and back, he'd have me making sandwiches. I don't think you should feel his heavy, ridiculous thoughts. What's so ridiculous about it? Banks get robbed every day. Do I have to ask you to leave? Okay, it was just a stupid conversation. I was hammered. It's not like we're actually gonna go out and rob a bank. Great. Georgie? Georgie? I'm a cop, Georgie. So what? Yeah, well, good guys don't go around robbing banks. Cactus did. <sighs> Georgie, come on. Pull your face out of that pillow, you'll suffocate. So what? I'm gonna die anyway. Who said that? No one. But it's true, isn't it? It's true. Georgie. I don't know what's true, Georgie. I really don't. But I do know that you can't give up. Georgie, hey. You said anything. And I meant it. Anything. Will you help? I don't know about you. Will you help? It's a simple question. What kind of kid wants to rob a bank? A dying one. Look, Georgie is a very young tenure. Robbing a bank to him is not the same as it is to you or me, or even a kid from the big city. To him, it's fantasy. No one gets hurt. It's just pure adventure. You'd have to know about the Cactus Kid. He was a good bad guy. What the hell does that mean? Well, he didn't set out to be a bank robber. He was wrong. His pappy was killed by a corrupt lawman. His grandpappy had his land stolen by carpetbaggers. And when Billy found Cactus wounded, he nursed him back to health. And what am I talking to you about this for? All I want to know is, will you help? I got to go see a guy. I'll talk to you later. Let's just say that 35 years in the same zip code was enough for me. How about you? You live here your whole life? So far. Yeah, I understand some great fishing around here. Look, let's get down to it. Yeah. This ain't gonna be easy. It's a lot of risk. Do you realize that? Does this mean you're gonna help me? Maybe. See, I can help set it up. I can help with the getaway. Jim, you're gonna have to go in alone. Okay. And then there's a question about money. No problem. Oh, that's what you say now. That's what I say, no problem. I still got some arranging to do. And there's the question about guns. I'm a cop. I got my own gun. You're a cop. 
You didn't know? <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. You're here for me. Joanne Waters? Are you kidding? I wouldn't take her to a rock fight. Uh-huh. Then how come the whole town knew you wanted to sleep with her? How come she acted so surprised? How about you and Cubby Winter? Chubby Cubby? No. He never laid a glove on me. Although there are times I wish he had. Oh, get out of here. That guy's loaded now. He owns Vista. The cable company? Still fat. <laughs> okay. Come here. I, I've been looking into some things. What are you talking about? Okay, you've had Georgie most of his life. I'm not saying that whatever I missed out on hasn't been my fault. I'm begging you. Let me do this for him. Are you talking about robbing a bank? Are you crazy? I, I've been doing some research. Oh, yeah. Kate, 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 will you stop? Will, will you stop and listen to me? It's what Georgie wants. I know that it sounds crazy. But listen to these words and really hear them. It's his dying wish. Just hear me out. I, I can do this. Will you listen to me? I'm sorry. I just can't support this. Fine, we don't have your support. Well, here's a news flash. Who gives a shit? Stop it. I'm sorry. Not in the way he said it. Oh, I get it. George is not my concern. Exactly. Jack, one more outburst out of you and you can forget my support too. Does that mean I have your support? Look, you, you guys have to remember, this is a very, very sick boy. Anything could happen to him in this condition. He... Say it. Say it. Georgie could die. Georgie is dying. Changes things, doesn't it? I'll go tell Georgie. Hang on, Jack. I want to help. You want to help rob a bank? Well, it's a step up from real estate. Hello? Anybody here? Maybe he's a double crosser like Pico Stew. I don't know. Something tells me this guy's the greedy type. You know me too well, Jack. Who's the kid? He's my... Partner. Partner. You can call him Cactus. I don't know. Cops, they're one thing, but... Kids? No. I don't know. It's his job. <laughs> Are we gonna do business, Sidewinder, or not? world gets sicker every day. Look, Jack, I don't particularly care if you want to bring along your grandmother. My job is to assist and help you get away. That's fine. For half the booty. What's he mean, booty? That means he wants half the money. No way! That is, of course, we don't get caught. When I help you, you won't. Forget you. We do all the work and you get half? Hey, I'm taking chances here too, Sagebrush. Cactus. He's right. All right. Half the money. Okay.
but no one gets hurt. It's entirely up to you. You're the ones going in, not me. No one gets hurt. Okay. Three days. It goes in three days. Three days? That's Wednesday. School day. You'll be here, I promise. All right. Three tellers, no guard. How much time? We still have 12 minutes. OK. De Pasquale's right. Opening time has the fewest customers. Let's say we just came in the bank. What happens next? Now, come on. You I got to remember the plan. I... The plan. I get the money. We walk. Not run to the lane. And if somebody tries to stop us? You handle it, I run. Got it? Got it. Good. Hopefully. Maybe you didn't understand me. I said hands over your head. That's better. Nice try. Georgie! Yeah? Time for bed. Okay. You're lucky, mister. But next time. Georgie. Why I oughta. <sighs> hey, Georgie, you ready? Yeah, Dad. How about you? Yeah. You have those numbers, right? Aunt Jenny and Grandma? Are you sure you feel okay? Mom, I'm all right. We have to go. I know, I'm just so scared. I love you so much. Don't be. The cactus kid and Billy never got hurt. I know, but I'm not their mom. You ready, cowboy? I love you. I love you, too. You make sure he's okay. You have the doctor's numbers. If... Don't worry. If he wants to back out, okay. at any time. Thank you. Thank you. Keep an eye on him, OK? Any headaches, dizziness, anything, you understand? Yeah, well, we better get going. Remember the Hotel Rio in Juarez. Two days. Two days. Jack. I know. God, I hope you know what you're doing. You OK? Yeah. Are you sure you're up to this? Hmm? Yeah. It's not too late to go to Disneyland. No way! This is better than a hundred Disneylands. All right. You remember the plan? We only have three minutes. We go in, you do all the talking. If anyone tries to be a hero, you handle it. I hop over the counter and collect the money. You got your pillowcase? Right here. Bandana? Check. Gun? Got it. What is this for? We gotta give Mr. Deepest Squall his half of the month. What do you call it? Booty. Yeah, well, gotta put in something. Good thinking. Cactus. in 15 minutes. We'll be there. You better be, because if you're not, I'm gone, and you're on your own. Hey, sport, how you doing? Cute kid. Remember, 15 minutes, and I'm... <laughs> Cute kid. I don't like that guy. You ready? Yep. Dad? Yes, George. Tell me. You know. Do they ever get caught? Okay. I'll tell you, but you didn't hear it from me. Cactus and Billy live to be in love. Really? They retire in Mexico. Do they ever rob banks anymore? Well, yeah, but <laughs> only once a month, because they didn't have Social Security back then. Too cool! 
You ready to ride? Ready. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. Oh, wow. This is way cool. Just like Cactus. How do I look? Just like Billy. How about me? There you go. If I didn't know better, I'd swear I was sitting by Cactus himself. Dad? You're the best guy in the whole world. Cactus, make sure you watch the door. Go, 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 go. This is a stick up. This is a stick up. Louder, George, you don't have to This is a stick up. Thank you. <laughs> Dad. I don't believe everyone realizes what's going on here. This is a bona fide, honest to goodness stick up. Now, everybody, get your hands up. Up! Up! Please. Oh, yeah. Please. What's going on here? You get three guesses, and they all begin with, get your hands up! Give on the speech. This here fella is the toughest outlaw in these here parts. His name is the Cactus Kid. And he's my sidekick, Billy. This is a joke. Did anyone say you could talk? Don't worry, mister. No one is going to get hurt. Yeah? Well, tell that to Billy here. All right, get the money. And keep your fingers off of those alarm buttons. Dad. Please. Come on, Cactus, get going. Bank, bank's closed. All day? Yeah, yeah, bank holiday. All right, you two get over here where I can see you. Now, nobody do anything stupid. Don't be scared. We're good bad guys. Good at it or good? Just good. Shouldn't you be in school? I got the week off. I got cancer. Charles? Charles, it is you. Candace Lord's <laughs> How is everything? How's business? Good. Business is good. 30 seconds, Cactus. Come on, come on! I'm coming, Dad. Dad? Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that? I just don't want anyone to get hurt here, all right? No one is going to get hurt. Just turn around and shut up! Please, sir, just let go. The bank will cover any personal loss. That is very sound advice. What kind of coward hides behind this kid? My dad's no coward! He's a policeman! Georgie, catch us. I think we should take a hostage. What do you have in mind? What? Don't you know these things are illegal? What's your name, hero? Huh? What is it? He's a lawman, FBI. Cool, a share. No, that's not cool. What are you doing here? You think we get paid in gold bullion? I'm cashing my check. All right, Agent. Addison, we'll be leaving now. And if you know what's good for you, you will not try anything stupid. You can save me skedaddle. <laughs> Come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Go! Oh my god! Oh! Shoot if you must, but you'll never get our dignity. I did at your age. Really? Are you kidding me? I was scared to death of girls. Uh-oh. Gotta lose them. Go, man, go! I told you, Miss Wally, we needed something faster. Why do you do that? Chapter 7. Shootout in Montana Springs. 
sheriff was a red soldier with cactus in the war between the states. That's right, Sheriff Randolph. He led the posse in the wrong direction on purpose. Well, he just did it again. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! You're lucky I was about to leave. How much did you grab? $12,352. That's all? We didn't want to be greedy. Is this kid funny or what? OK, Georgie, load her up. Is this the car? Yeah, low mileage. Stolen from one owner. Only drove it to work. Great, a bright yellow Cadillac is not too conspicuous. Hey, I'm Italian. What'd you expect, a brown Toyota? What's the gas for? In case the van runs out while I'm driving by the police station. Hey, wait a minute. This whole place could burn. That's the general idea, kiddo. But, Dan, all kinds of birds and stuff live in these buildings. They'll have no place to live. They'll die. What's this kid, a member of the Sierra Club? Forget the gas. Forget the gas, Deep Esqually. OK, forget the gas. I don't believe this. I'm robbing a bank with Greenpeace. Hello, Jack. We had a deal, remember? Go ahead, give it to him. Yeah, nice working with you, too. Son of a bitch. I'm a little too good at this. You okay? Yeah. I'm just thinking of who we should give the money to. What do you mean? Well, you can't just keep it. That would be right. The kid always helps somebody with the money. I thought we'd keep it to bail me out of jail. Don't worry. We won't get caught. We'll be with Mom in Mexico. Nothing, not a thing. If a kid pulls off a bank robbery, at least they can do what's right about it. Because nowadays you have to blow up some foreign embassy. All right? I'm just a little dizzy. It happens. All right, um, let me have something for that. Uh, excuse me, can I get some water or, or some juice for my son? Uh, he needs to take some medicine. Just one minute. Now!
Let me for that medicine to kick in. Then we'll head out. They found us. Shh. Who is it? It's the manager. Want to make sure the boy's all right? He's fine, thank you. Well, I got some juice for the boy. Compliments to the motel. Well, that really won't be necessary. All right, fellas, hand it over, and you can continue on with your little father and son vacation. Dad! It's OK, Georgie, it's OK. It ain't OK. Things could be worse. I'm quit lying to the boy. Give me that bag over there. All right, take it easy. You can have the money. No way! He works for Deepest Wall! By who? I don't think so, George. Hand it over! My son's sick. His medicine's in that bag. Keep the drugs. Just give me that little stack of cash. Hey, wait a minute. This thing ain't catchy or anything, is it? I have a brain tumor, Sidewinder. Good. Then you won't need this money. All right, you got what you wanted. Now take it and leave. Shut up. You're not going to get away with this. I'll drag you down like the varmint you are. Do you know who I am? Hell if I know. Who are you? Cat, this kid, and he's Billy. Stick my head in the toilet and call me Mr. Shitface. If it ain't the cactus kid and Billy. I love them comic books. How you doing, kid? Hell, if I'd known it was you, I was robbing a... Hey! Did you hear the one where Peggy's Jim takes old Cactus out and gives him an ass whooping? No way! Yes, sir. Oh, then he calls Cactus out and guns him down like he owns it. Why don't you get out of here? Shut up. No way! My dad read every one! Tell him, Dad! Well, he knows I ain't lying. Why don't you tell a boy the truth? Just take the money and leave. Sound advice. Billy. Georgie, <laughs> get behind that bed. Get behind the bed right now. You all right? Georgie? Is it true? I don't remember. I want to go home. No. We still have to meet Mommy in Mexico. We have to cross the Rio Grande. You lied. You said they live to be a hundred. I know how you feel, Georgie. I really do. When I found out the cactus got killed, I was numb for a week. I couldn't believe that my dad didn't feel the same way, but he saw it a different way. He said that people didn't want regular heroes anymore. And somehow they had to be super imperfect. He said that somehow, that made Cactus a little more real. He explains how Cactus got tired and hungry and even lost his temper and made mistakes. He said, don't you feel sorry for Cactus? Many have lived longer, but few as much. And then I would read those stories about the Cactus over and over and over again. Somehow I felt like I was bringing him back to life. Sorry, Georgie. I really should have told you. I love you, Dad. We better call the cops before they get too far. You can't! We have to. We can't! We robbed a bank, remember? Georgie. We gotta cross the Rio Grande. We gotta meet Mom in Mexico. Uh, how'd we do? Three grand. You know what, Bob? What, Ray? I am so lucky to have a smart friend like you. Man, we wouldn't even have taken in maybe $300 to that coffee shop. what I tell you, Ray? You stick with me, you'll do all right.
Rooms are $45 a night, no room service, no smoking, and absolutely no hookers. I don't want a room. I wonder if you could tell me if you got a Jack Pierce checked in here. He's traveling with his 10-year-old son. Hmm. It's against company policy for me to give out that information. You'll have to call the operator. <laughs> I wouldn't go bragging about that, especially ever since that Waco incident. We don't care about you guys around here. So like I said, if you want information, go over there to the house phone and ask the operator. The operator? Operator, house phone. Right there. Operator. Operator. Yeah, do you have a Jack Pierce checked in here? Well, it was a while back, but he left a while ago chasing a couple of yahoos. How long ago? Which way? Like the operator said, a while back, and he went down that service road right over there. You need help. No, oh, thank you. Don't come back. Bye. Well, I like the looks of this. That boy's a dumber than a box of bullets. Georgie, get in the back seat. Please. Come on. What the hell are you doing? What? That's a kid in that car. So what? Well, I ain't killing no kid. Especially no sick kid. Shoot the tire. That only works on television. Now get down. They're going to get away at least, try. Hey, Georgie, come on. Billy is the best shot in the world. OK, OK, G get down. Jesus. Done too good in the old west. Oh yeah. Well, you're forgetting who we are. Come on, saddle up, cowboy. Ah, oh, Georgie, come on. Sometimes your dad's got no sense. You know your mommy's right. You act like a jackass sometimes. It's right back here. Such a moron! Get up, moron! You okay? I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll find a payphone and we'll call mom. She'll come and get us. Maybe you should have been cactus. You have been a better cactus. Are you kidding? Cactus is smart. I am not smart. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah? Then why are the bad guys driving and we're walking? Sorry things didn't work out the way you wanted, Georgie. Better. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, this is a lot of fun. You're a good kid. Hey, wait a second. Do you hear that? It's music. No, sir. That's not just any music. That's Hank Sr. Yes! 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 Thank you, Mr. Hank. Yeehaw! Woo! Giddy up. We're back in business, Cactus. Yes. Yes, Senora Unsworth. Hey, Georgia, you okay? Yeah, Dad. What? Yes. Yes? Uh, all right, well, when she checks in, tell her. 
Never mind. I'll call her back. The order's coming right up. Dad. Yeah, Georgie. Never. when the food comes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I hear you've been looking for me. <laughs> I told you. It's your funeral. He's gonna hurt you. But it's him! All right, all right, all right, all right. Where? George. Excuse me. Excuse us. Wait, excuse us. Whoa. <laughs> Jim's a coming and he's gunning for you. You can do it, Dad. Okay, Don't count it's your on it, funeral. Son. My father's the fastest hey. draw in the West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fair man. So I'll give you to the count of three to drop that gun belt. And if you ask real nice, I'm sure the barkeep will give you quarterback. No? Come on, oh, Billy. Oh, just one more thing. Come on, Billy. Just in case you get lucky. He'll give you double your money back. All right, city slicker. Get ready to eat lead. One. Two. Three. <laughs> I told you, it was your funeral. You better skedaddle, stranger. Pico's Some people just can't wait to be shot. Just a stupid game. I'll tell you what. On our way back, we'll stop here. you have something that belongs to me. Don't even think about it. Put your hands that. on the bar. Oh, oh, just take it easy, mister, OK? This ain't no video game anymore. Now, that's Prescott. You little out of your jurisdiction. My jurisdiction is however far my bullet can travel. That's good enough for me, OK? All right. Both of you turn around with your hands up. Uh, Real easy. The keys. Money. Ah. Uh -huh.
the rest of it. The rest? That ain't even half. Well, you double cross it. When do we get home? My kid's medicine was in that car. Jack, put it down. Put the gun down, Jack. Share. Who? Was everyone in here got one of those? Now you're under arrest for robbing a bank. Bullshit. Well, we didn't rob no bank. But did we? We did. How'd you find us? We got your friend, Deepa Squaw. Now, he was mad. He said you beat him out of his share. I told you we can trust him. Do me a favor, son, huh? Next time you rob a bank, try to make it one where I don't keep my money. He chose the bank. Jack, put the gun down and give me the money. Hey, wait a minute. What about them? These guys robbed us back at the motel. I'd say they're as much criminals as we are. This here's better than Walker, Texas Ranger. Dad? How is he going to arrest the What's he saying? Huh? Actually, he makes a very interesting point. Oh, yeah? What's that? What Georgie would like to know is how one guy is going to arrest four people. Freeze! <clears throat> I've been practicing. Yeah, well, I take it back. You must be old Cactus and Billy. Thank you. You call me stupid. Don't do this, Jack. Now, if you do some checking, I bet you'll find that these two are wanted somewhere for something. Now, in the meantime, if you'll excuse us. How far to the border? Jack, don't do this. You want your son's picture on wanted posters all over the state. Wait, cool. How far? Dad. Please, about 50 miles. Come on, Billy, let's give battle. I'm sorry, Addison, but he's the boss of this outfit. Jack, let freeze. Damn! Is it all there? Nope. They spent a whole 53 bucks. Look on the bright side. By the time the cops get there to take him off Addison's hands, we're going to be in Mexico. Yeah. But it sure ain't worth 50 bucks. You OK? I'm just a little tired. Here, why don't you close your eyes? Dad, do you think if Pecos Jim had killed Cactus, do I live to be a hundred? Absolutely. Now you get some sleep, all right? Georgie, it's no good. You never pick up hitchhikers. He looked tired. Well, then he should walk slower. You don't meet too many Mexicans on their way to Mexico. No, I don't. No, you misunderstand. When I say you guys, I mean you. I think they call it the rhetorical you. Dad, you're confusing him. All I'm saying is usually you guys are looking to come up here. Oh, see, sí, see. Sí. But I must go back home. You an illegal? It's okay. We won't snitch. We're bank robbers. <laughs> Don't be scared. He's a cop. Madre mía. Uh, señor, I think I better get out right here. I can walk. I really don't mind. There is a bridge up ahead. I think I better get out there. Yeah, sure. I really don't mind driving you across. There could be problems this way, señor. That way, no problem for me. Hey, Pablo, are you really illegal? Oh, see. Si. Then why are you going back? Don't you like it here? I love it. It's my wife. She's uh, in Juarez with my children, but she's very, very sick. What's wrong with her? She drank the water? Dad! I'm sorry. No, the doctor says she has the cancer in her. Hey, I have cancer, too. Is this true, senor? Yeah. Yeah, a brain tumor. Once I went blind in this eye, 
but they made it small, and now I can see. Why does he keep doing that? Can't help it, he's Catholic. What do you mean? Watch, cancer. They do that when anyone ever mentions sickness. I used to have a partner once who was Catholic. He used to do it all the time. <laughs> Tumor. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. Liver. No. Liver's not a disease, but liver cancer. <laughs> what did I tell you? Sorry, Pablo. It's called whistling in the dark. Please, senor. No more whistling. Hey, Pablo. I got to tell you something really important. If your wife loses her hair, don't laugh. Oh, no, I wouldn't. And if she gets tired and wants to sleep for hours and doesn't feel like eating, don't worry. It's just because she's sick. What kind of cancer does she have? Well, she has cancer in her breast. There are worse places. But the doctor has said that the cancer has spread. Hey, Pablo, you didn't do the sound of the cross. Don't be scared. I was scared. I'm not anymore. You're very brave, muchacho. OK, Pablo. Thank you very much. Hope it works out with your wife. I really do. Muchas gracias, senor. And I will pray for your son. He is a very good boy. He's my hero. Do you believe in God, senor? I didn't. But I have to now. That is very good. Hey, Pablo, what's the name of this river? This here river, muchacho. This river is called the Rio Grande, muchacho. The Rio Grande? I'll bet this is where they crossed. I'll bet this is the exact spot. It must be. You're probably right. Wow. Well, I should be on my way now. La Migra, they all over these roads. Hey, Pablo, wait. You're back. <laughs> Gracias. Right around the river, around the bend, is the border. Buena suerte. Muchacho, are you really a bank robber? I guess so. <laughs> Vaya con Dios, bandido. Bandito, way cool. Hasta luego. Adios, amigos. Looks like trouble. Relax, I'm telling you that I'm no thing. Hundreds of fathers and sons pass the border every day. Yeah, but how many of those fathers and sons just robbed a bank? You got a point there. Good afternoon, officer. Just here for a short visit. Good afternoon. Let's see some identification. And I'll need to see a birth certificate for the little gringo. This is kind of spur of the moment. I'm a cop. Jack Pierce. Where have I heard that name? I don't know. Tell me the facts. Just go. Take it easy. Might be nothing. Hey, Jaime. Yes, Jorge? You won't believe who we have here. Who? The one and only Cactus Kid and Billy.
Charles. Oh, he thought it would be better if you know. It is so, yeah. so cool. Really? What happened? Well, the bank. In the bank? Yeah. yeah. In the bank, and it's so cool. And this guy came into our room. So, how you feeling? I don't know. I guess it hasn't really set in yet. Well, you accomplished what you set out to do. I don't think another dad in the world could have done as much. You really mean that? I never accused you of being a bad father. <laughs> Just a bad husband. <laughs> I see. Charles is? Come on. I'm sorry. It wasn't fair. Georgie! Yeah? Come on. Where are you going? We're going to put the money in the hotel safe. Huh, oh, good idea. You ready? Not really. Are you okay, sweetie? Yeah, but I think Dad's going to be mad at me. Huh? No, why? Why would you think that? I don't have the money anymore. Oh, Georgie, no, Georgie. What? What's going on? No, he lost the money. What? See, Jack. he's mad. No, Georgie, how could you have lost the money? Did you lose the money? Not exactly. You didn't? Well, then where is it? I said, don't you feel sorry for Cactus? Many have lived longer, but few as much. Kate and I wanted to thank you for coming. We especially wanted you all here because you were all of the individuals that were involved in making the impossible possible. It's been a year since Georgie and I had our little adventure together. And we couldn't thank you publicly while Georgie was still. Thank you. Isaiah, my friend, my partner, my brother. Charles, what can I say? You showed Georgie and I through example what it is to be a man. I must point out, however, you're a one terrible bank robber. Jerry Addison of the FBI, who was kind enough to donate his vacation time to trail us to make it feel real, but actually saved us from true outlaws. The Prescott community players for making it seem so real for Georgie. And of course, the Arizona First National Bank for being kind enough 
to let us shut them down for 20 minutes on a work day. And to the man that made this all come true for Georgie. When I came to him with my problem, he didn't act like I was crazy. He simply said, I understand. Mr. William D. Pasquale of the Make a Dream Come True Foundation. In just two short days, he organized what I thought was impossible. There were times when I actually thought he was a bad guy. He was a little too good at arranging a getaway. I thank you. Kate thanks you. Most of all, Georgie, thanks. Why don't you stay with us tonight? Thanks. Make sure she gets some rest. Skedaddle, stranger. Pecos Jim's a-coming, and he's gunning for you. OK, it's your funeral. Hey. Here you've been looking for me. I'm a fair man, so I'll give you to the count of three to drop that gun belt. And if you ask real nice, I'm sure the barkeep will give you quarterback. No? All right. Oh, one more thing. Just in case you get lucky, he'll give you double your money back. <laughs> All right, city slicker. Get ready to eat lead. One. Two. Jim. Looks that way to me. You're a hero. What's your name, son? Hey, everybody. Pecos Jim is dead. <laughs> hey, stranger. Hey, don't you want your dollar? <laughs> 